Welcome to our channel, The Work of God, where we find topics of high spirituality that lead us through the paths of holiness. The Word of God is so powerful. Miracles for the asking. Today we will meditate on a very special gift that God is pleased to give to a person with faith. This gift can be translated into miracles that we need so much in our lives. It could also be called the art of praying in spirit and in truth. John 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. If we understand that Jesus is the Word, the Spirit that was united to the flesh in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and was born as true God and true man, then we will accept that God is the Word. So, if we have faith in that Word of Jesus, we will experience the power of God in our lives. I will give you a few examples so that you penetrate into the great power of God in His Word. Light. The Word of God said in the beginning, Genesis 1 verse 3, Let there be light, and there was light. One single word, light, and light was made and exists forever. Before the power of God, all the elements surrendered to His will, and anything that the Word speaks will become a new creation of God, because the Word is united to the will of God. In other words, Jesus and the Father are one, and the Holy Spirit brings everything into existence, executing thus the Word of God. That is the same power of Jesus in His Gospels, a living Word that transforms our life, a saving power that is at our disposal, because in baptism we become members of the body of Christ. Word. Notice that God is the Word of God. We don't describe Him as the words of God. The reason is that God does not need many words like us. Remember this phrase, Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Roman official trusted the word of Jesus. Matthew 8, verse 8. Then let us remember when Jesus said one word to Lazarus, Arise! And he arose from the dead. John 11, verse 43. He said to the dumb man, Ephata, open up, and his ears were opened again. Mark 7, verse 37. He said to the storm one word, Peace. Mark 4, verse 39. To the devil he said, Be gone, and he left. No questions asked. Matthew 4, verse 10. In the same way, the Word of God is so powerful that if we only meditate one word, we will find the action of God taking place right there. Way. Jesus tells us that He is the way. Simple as that. Only one way. The way to the Father. The way to salvation and the only way to go. His way is always full of light, hope and strength. When we deviate, we enter darkness, despair, and we feel our weaknesses. There is nothing I cannot do in Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4, verse 13 People that walk in the crooked ways of life have a hard time because they reject Jesus with His commandments of the love of God. Truth Jesus is the only truth. This is why the philosophers of this world just go around in circles trying to describe the truth. Little do they know that accepting Jesus as the truth, their questions will be answered. The intellect of man is a very good tool to block our faith. The truth remains solid and clear in Jesus Christ our Lord. Only one word. Life. Genesis 2 verse 7. Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living being, and he still lives by that word. 
Only one thought of God in his divine will as Father. One word of Jesus, the Son of God, and one action of the Holy Spirit. All these contained in one word. Life. Salvation. This word of God was the purpose of his incarnation. For this Jesus lived. For this he labored until his death. It was the will of the Father to send His Word, His only begotten Son, into the world to save us. So Jesus, with that Word, gives salvation to everyone who asks, to everyone who accepts that He is our Savior and our Lord. Eucharist Jesus is the food of the soul. He is the bread of life, come down from heaven to the sacred womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary and to the holy hands of priests at the altar. Jesus is the food of our salvation. With this only word, the Lord feeds men and angels with the food of eternity. John 6, verse 53. Unless we eat of the flesh of the Son of Man and drink His blood, we will not have eternal life within us. Eternity. This is the kingdom of heaven a kingdom of delights and joy everlasting for those who believe in the Son of God. One word from God, and we all enter into this new eternal life, where Christ reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, forever and ever. God does not go around in circles. Every word of His is a creation. This is why it is so important when we pray for a miracle, to pray first of all in accordance with the will of God the Father. First letter of John 5.14 Secondly, we must visualize Jesus the Word of God saying the Word we need, be it healing, liberation, health, etc. And thirdly, we must visualize the Holy Spirit, the action of God at work. And here it is. The miracle takes place. But of course, this is a test for our faith. Then how big is our faith? Is it at least as a little grain of mustard? This is all we require, says Jesus, and we should be able to move mountains. We must always pray with trust and do our best. God will do the rest. Amen. I would like to speak about every word of God but the list would be infinite. So I am proposing you this teaching as a basis for your future meditations. Please, this is very important. So I recommend to you that you take one word at a time and that you spend as much time as necessary with it, be it one day or a week. But make sure you understand the way God uses the power of His Word. This in itself is a way of glorifying the Holy Trinity. Concentrate on these three principles that I am revealing to you today. They are the Holy Trinity itself. God the Father is the will, so in your meditation seek and see the will of God initiating your contemplation. Then see the Word of God, Jesus smiling and saying that Word that you require in your life. Make it simple. God does not need instructions or long phrases. Be totally simple like a child. Use one word. And thirdly, visualize the action of God taking place by the power of the Holy Spirit, and your miracle will take place. To finish with, you must thank God with sincerity, as if what you pray for has already been granted. This will confirm your trust in God, and then Wait patiently, as when you plant a seed, God will surprise you at the right moment. Please go back to the beginning of this reflection and put it deep through your mind, so that it becomes a solid teaching for your spiritual life. I give you what I have received from God, the gift of faith. Only one word. This changed my life and is changing the lives of many souls. And Jesus, after accomplishing his miracle, said, Your faith has saved you. If you like this video, please give us a like.
subscribe to our channel, The Work of God, share on social networks, and do not forget to leave your valuable comments. God bless you.